This year has been different in many ways. COVID has really changed our approach to life. For me, I have become involved more and more deeply in thinking about COVID testing at the university. Our goal is still to have more students, faculty, and staff on campus. And as such, we need to test them as often as we can and reduce the chances of infection spreading amongst the Mason community. Our mission is to invent new testing methodology and apply it to patient benefit. When COVID hit, we turned our attention to developing new testing methodologies that were highly accurate for COVID. About 20% of people who do have COVID are walking around with absolutely no symptoms, yet they can uh, transmit the disease. So the more we test, the more we are able to identify people who are positive at the earliest stages of the infection and therefore stem the, um, the spread of the infection. With the support of the university, we developed an improved saliva test for COVID virus itself. We are now gearing up to expand the saliva testing to offer that to the Mason community with high volume. Mason's uniquely positioned to provide this testing in-house because of our existing CAP CLIA accredited laboratory. We can capitalize on the infrastructure, the equipment, the personnel that we already have and have had in place for eight years that allow us to quickly pivot and provide this service for the university. The test is saliva-based, so it's very easy to collect a specimen, and the test is relatively rapid. We can get results in three hours, and it is less expensive than the nasal swab testing. This enables us now to be able to do 10,000 tests a week in comparison to the 1,000 that we used to be able to do with the nasopharyngeal swabs. I can't say enough how great the response has been from the Mason scientists and the Mason community. The best measure we have that our students are very dedicated to keeping the, the community safe is the extremely low incidence of positives that we continue to have with our testing compared to other universities. Our community really has taken that guidance very seriously, and that's the biggest reason for why we've been able to not see as many COVID cases on campus. It's really due to the hard work of our faculty, staff, and students in maintaining our COVID precautions and then staying vigilant. We encourage all Mason community students and staff and faculty to continue doing a great job of what they have been doing, which is wearing a mask, social distance, washing your hands, staying home when you're sick, participating in surveillance testing when you are selected, and following health department and health professional guidance when they tell you to isolate and quarantine. Everything that we're doing is to ensure that our students, faculty, and staff are as safe as they can be.